What's going on, cryptocurrency universe? It's the Bitcoin miner here, guys. Well, I hope everybody is doing well today. And in this video, this is going to be part two in our Orange Pi series of tests to test the cables, test the CPUs, test the devices, um, and make sure to watch all of the videos so you guys get all of the pie information you need this information can be applied to cell phone mining can be applied to any other pies so if you missed the first one this is the second one make sure to go back and watch the first one it has valuable information you may not want to miss guys so with that said in the first video we looked at the pi 5 second video is going to be the pi 0 three this is the third one there is a pi two uh, zero two uh they actually have the exact same chip just this one is a single board computer the pi three it has everything where the other one is more of a pico board or just a it doesn't have all the functionality to it but they have the same chip and this is just much easier to test and look at um, as we discussed in the first video, the nanometer size, we'll see what kind of hash rate we're actually getting out of it compared to the latest and greatest. But at the price point of $18, $20, depending on uh, where you get it, Amazon, I think they're like $21. Um, and maybe you can be able to order them in bulk and get them cheaper. Uh, let's go see what it's producing, guys. I'm really excited to see this. Pi zero three will produce mining Varus. All right, not too bad, but worse than I hoped for. One point eight mega hash average, one point seven. We'll come back to this and see if it stabilizes any more. But the temperatures are looking great. Forty four C, very very good. So the 44C is just the 15 millimeter aluminum block heat sink with thermal pad. Um, just an adhesive pad. No glue, nothing of those sorts. And just a fan on top. Getting really good temperatures. All right, let's see how much power we're drawing for that 1.8 average or 1.7 mega hash. As we dive into the wire mess, we are getting 2.9 watts. Now remember, the cable we are using when you guys watch the cable video. This one is the Mr. Glass. 2.9, 2.8. And as an example, oops, I lost it. This is the El Cheapo cable from eBay. They cost about a dollar eighty cents a piece, depending on how many you buy. Uses two tenths of a watt more to run this little guy. I was using it to start with, but it was too short, so I had to switch up cables. And uh, imagine if you ran a hundred of these, that would be twenty watts more just based on your cable choice. So this is about ten minutes later. Um, so we're getting a little over 8.3, maybe 8.9 mega hashes. So I think I'm going to go with 8, or 1 point, excuse me, 1.83 or 1.9. Let's go with 1.8 mega hashes. So if we take 7 and divide it by 1.8. We get 3.8888. So it essentially will take about four of these guys to equal one of those. But let's um, do that times $20 a piece. $77 a piece. Where you can get these right at about $80 a piece. And that's a lot more money in cables that you need. Granted, they have Wi-Fi, which helps. But it's still a lot more cabling and a lot more units to keep up with. Hmm. It's close. Very, very close. Let's look at the power. So we did three, divi three watts uh, divided by the hash, which was 1.8. And we come up with 1.666 watts of power per 
um, for the Mega Hash. So that's going to, let's see how that compares to the other one. Huge difference. So this was 7 mega hash divided by 8.5, which is the watts the single unit uses. And we are getting 0 0.82. A significant difference between the efficiency of the two chips. Yeah, that just makes this a clear winner so far in our series, guys. All right. Make sure to stay tuned, like, and subscribe, and leave some comments, too, if you guys have any questions, any thoughts, anything I'm missing. Um, just leave it down in the comments or anything else you would like me to try or something that you think is worth it uh, or a board that I don't even know about. Uh, make sure to let me know if you guys have tested it, what kind of results you're getting. So the third part in this series of testing the three Orange Pies will be the Orange Pie 5 Plus. All right, guys, stay tuned. The next evolution in decentralized tech is here. Veris is a truly free, open source blockchain protocol designed for privacy, safety, open participation, and unlimited scalability. Decentralized financial and communications tech that can scale to a new internet of value and data exchange. Build with us, Veris. Truth and privacy for all. Learn more and join the conversation on Discord.